Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Beauty on a Budget. My name is Heather and today is Tuesday, July 23rd of 2024. Um, so I did another shopping trip today, went to a few places, did some errands. It's been a while since I've had some extra money just to spend. So here we go, I'll show you what I got today. So I went to... Um, another little local thrift store we have downtown and my tripod is falling okay so first a uh, nice little bag it's an older one it is a guest purse some pretty decent shape Oops. lots of inside pockets and zippers stuff all the zippers work I always check that at the store it does need a good cleaning so that's, you know, that's easy to do, but uh, nice, and I believe it is leather. I want to believe it's leather. Let's see, is it, or is it just, because um, it really feels more, oh, shoot, I don't see a tag. No, maybe it isn't leather. It just really looks like it and it just really feels like it. So it's a higher quality. So $4.50. Uh, this cute little summer top. Um, $3.50 and it is a Tommy Hill figure. I'm showing these to my daughter and she's just laughing at me. So a nice pair of shorter knee length uh, sweatpants kind of or jogging pants. Uh, eight fifty. I did pay a little more for these, but they are uh, Puma. I don't own anything. I've got well, maybe a pair of shoes that are Puma, but I've never had anything that has Puma on it. Uh, this shirt, it's kind of my color for the fall with the more oranges and browns and blues. Uh, Six dollars, and it is a Tommy. Just a second. Something just. Something just popped up on my screen. <laughs> okay, yeah, this one is a uh, Tommy. Uh, this one, it's a nice, it's a crop top sweatshirt. Uh, it's 550 and it was Calvin Klein. You can just see all over. Uh, then I've got some of their, yeah, their clearance stuff. So they have like a 50 cent rack. So I got a nice pair of these purple sweats by Bench. These were 50 cents. I didn't see anything wrong with these ones. Some of the other sweatpants that they had in the, on that rack, they were like, you know, fading rips and stuff. This one, I don't see any rips to it. Um, I also got this pair of pants on the 50 cent rack and it is Tommy Hilfiger. Now, the only thing I see on these is on the back pocket. There is like a little bit of like a pen or a marker stain, which I might be able to get that out. So I'm surprised sometimes the amount of, you know, stuff you can get out of the clothing if you take the time. But, you know, if not, a nice pair of pants for 50 cents. And then I also got some clothes for my daughter. I wasn't sure if she would want these. I had to ask her and she said definitely. So this one here, it's an ACDC t-shirt. This one was $1.50. And then this one here is a Led Zeppelin, and this was 50 cents. And this is the one that I was not really going to buy. I mean, who doesn't like Pink Floyd? It was 50 cents. I wasn't quite sure she would wear it. It's kind of stretched out, and it's a large, you know, cropped. You know, the sleeves are you know, almost non-existent. And then I was showing it to her, and then that's when we noticed the back has all the little holes in it. Uh, my daughter said she didn't care. She's like, it's a Pink Floyd shirt. And she's like, this would be the type of stuff she would just wear around the house anyways. So she said she would probably not wear this one to school. And especially after I showed her that. And then she's like, well, then you wear, you know, like an over, wear it underneath overalls. And then people don't see the back of the shirt. So that was the stuff from the one um, thrift store. And then I was at the liquidation. I've got all my seats. Put those over there so I don't 
lose them. So then I've got, I was at the liquidation place and I got this. This is just the letters for those boards. I have a, one of those, whatever these boards are called, these oh, a cafe letter board, that's what they're called. So this is for $1.50, I get 129 pieces. So you get alphabet numbers, words, shapes, and symbols. And so my board is packed away, but I thought, well, for $1.50, I got some more words. I mean, I might even go buy and buy another pack just because it's fun to have these. I loved making my board. Um, this I saw. Now, when I move, I'm going to get to set up an office area. And so I saw this. It was $12. Um, but it's a four-piece desk set as uh, so you get the magazine holder letter tray a memo holder and a pencil holder I don't want to open it just because I don't want it to get wrecked before we move And I wasn't gonna buy it, but it was the last one they had and it's got these like you know 19 like you know vintage 1950 1960 kind of women on there and it's kind of my style I kind of like that type of stuff so I thought, no, I have to get it today because I'm not going to ever see it again. And they also had some Starbucks coffee. This is the caramel. This was $7.99. I generally don't buy ground coffee, but it's Starbucks. Really good deal. So I thought I would try it. And then I got a few packages of these. So this one here for $2, it's two pack. Um, and they are the grips for the bottom of your shoes. And then I bought two packs and these are just some, the little, um, what do you call them? Little foot cushions for inside the shoes. So I've got two pairs of shoes that are kind of hurting when I wear them to church. And one pair I found was really slippery when I was doing nursery. So I'm like, oh, I'll definitely use these for the church, the, for my shoes when I'm doing nursery at the church. And then I just thought, well, I've, and I've got a couple pairs of shoes where I'm having trouble finding the right inserts right now. The Dollarama doesn't seem to have any right now. So I thought I'll just buy these little mini ones and try them. Okay, and then I needed a couple more of these um, plug-in air fresheners. I generally don't use this type of stuff, but we're trying to sell our house and I want the house to have a nice smell. And we get the two front bedrooms we're not using. And I noticed that the, because of the heat we've been having right now and the windows are closed, you know, for most of the day and then not being open that they're just, and the doors are shut. They have a musty smell. There is nothing in the rooms. They're totally empty. So I thought I'd like to buy some more of these little plug-in things. So I went to $3 stores this morning and I just couldn't find, they had the different plugins and they had the different refills, but nothing matched. So I was at the one dollar rama that's right beside Superstore. So I went into Superstore and Superstore sells this product. And so does the Dollar Tree, or not Dollar Tree, uh, Dollar Rama, I mean. So uh, at Superstore for $18, you can get one plugin and one thing of spray. And I would need two of them. Oh, my nose is itchy. So that would be like, you know, nearly $40, you know, 18 and 18 plus tax to do the two bedrooms. So I went back to the Dollarama and they have just the little plugins for $3 each. And then this, the refills, uh, this pack was $12 or $11 for this refill pack. They had different ones, different prices. So for $18, I'm able to do two rooms, but I had to do a lot of searching at different stores. And then later today, I think I might end up going to Walmart later today and seeing if they sell some bigger sets of these, just to compare the pricing. So, and then I'm one of those people who all I need is one of the plugins and one of the refills that goes in with it. And I know how to refill these myself. That's what I do. I've got a lot of my containers, but I can't find any of my plug-in for them. And like I said, the dollar, I bought them from Dollar Rama less than a year ago, and they don't seem to have the plug-in parts. 
So, like I said, a few trips running around doing some stuff. I found what I need. So I will be putting those in fairly soon. And then, I was at the dollar store. I bought some other cleaning products. These are the terrific, these are the toilet bowl cleaners. You get a pack of two for $1.25. Um, it says they last between 200 and 250 flushes. I don't know if that is true. I just figure we're trying to sell the house. I've got one toilet that's got a little stain, like a little ring stain on it that I can't get off. If I put these in the toilet, the water is blue. They're not going to notice it. Same with, um, I find this was the best um, toilet bowl cleaner. I bought two bottles today. This is the Lysol 10 times power cleaning. This is the Deep Reach. And these were $2.75 each. So they've gone up a little bit in price. But I was at Superstore and one bottle. Now again, I don't know the size difference. These are 473 uh, mils. I don't know the size that Superstore sells. But they had one. So I'm buying $2.75. Theirs was nine something. So almost $10 for the one bottle. It might be the 710 mils. I wasn't quite sure. I didn't look at that. But... Price difference is spending, you know, $3 versus $10 on a bottle of toilet cleaner. And then I was doing crafting. I told my husband that I packed all my crafting supplies. So I really want to do crafting for the next couple of weeks. So I'll be going and spending a little bit of money at the dollar stores to buy some stuff to do some crafting. I found these cute little purple glittered birds, $1.50. For the two of them and I got these little silver little clip-on ones uh, these are two dollars for the four I'm gonna use these to finish off the uh, birdhouse I had started yesterday I also found these little wooden buttons and these ones are shaped of butterflies and they had these today oh, the butterflies oh, the pack of 20 and a dollar seventy-five, and they're just assorted sizes. And then I found these. So you get um, one vinyl sticker, and it says "Love." These were a dollar twenty-five. They only had two left, so I grabbed them. And they have some of these little wooden music boxes. I have one. I haven't had a chance to make it, but the next couple days I do want to do some crafting. And I just love the way, I mean, it says you can paint it, but I love how it's just that um, natural wood burned, kind of engraved on it. And so I just want to make it, I'm going to leave it as is. I'm not going to paint this or anything. And I have a second music box that I had bought in a couple months back, which kind of got misplaced. I found it last night. So I'm going to be making these other musical um, music boxes. In a little while now there is a store in one of the malls where i live and they actually sell these little wooden music boxes like this for between 20 and 50 dollars a little wind up but they play you know different theme songs of various things so when i bought the first one i was going to paint it but then after seeing those other ones at the store not painted i think i'm going to leave these unpainted and then i found this picture it was 450 I love, I love it. It's you know, my colors. You know, little girl, she's on her bike, you know, with all her stuff. And so, I love what it says. It's hashtag my Monday coffee. The cup, her coffee in her basket is you know, almost as big as her bike. <laughs> I thought it was so funny, so cute. And so I just thought these are the colors I want to have when we move into the new place. Uh, this would be kind of like my color, the palette that I want to go with. Now, I'm not quite sure if it's going to fit in the kitchen because I know the color of the cabinets that we have. Um, but definitely, this is the definitely the this vintage minty ice blue or ice green, whatever, blue or green, whatever you want to call it. That is definitely the color that is in the bathroom at the other house. And I love it with the pinks. So it's definitely it's going to be inspiration for my color scheme. I mean, I can even put this in my bathroom because that we just is going to match the bathroom. So I think that is everything that I have bought uh, today. It's fun having a little bit of cash and you can go and buy a few things. Uh, 
again, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who's subscribing to my channels and watching my videos, and I'll see you in the next ones. Bye.